Hello dear students, welcome back. This two marks question is from gate 2015 exam. They have given you this function get. Question is how many times will this function be invoked in total before returning to the main function if we call this function with 6 as parameter. So the parameter that we are passing is 6. I am writing 6 in brackets. So this notation indicates that this function has been called and this 6 as parameter. Okay. Now see, n will get the value 6. If n is less than 1, then return. But 6 is not less than 1. That means we will not return. Instead, we will execute the next line. Next line is a function call. And the parameter that we are passing is n minus 1. That means 6 minus 1. So next time, the function is called with 5 as parameter. And in next line, again this function is called with 3 as parameter. Then last line is a print statement. That means it will print something. Here we are only trying to count function calls. So for now, just ignore this line. We are not interested in its output. Just think that there are only one, two, three lines. Okay. Now let us talk about this function call. What is this function call going to do? Five is not less than one. That means we will not return. Instead, we will make two function calls with 5 minus 1 and 5 minus 3 as parameters. So 5 minus 1 is 4 and 5 minus 3 is 2. Okay, so these two functions are called. Then what is this 4 going to do? This function will check if 4 is less than 1. That is not true. Okay, 4 is actually greater than 1. Hence you will not return. Instead you will make two function calls. First time you will pass n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 as parameter. Then you are going to pass n minus 3 that is 4 minus 3 as parameter. So 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay. So these two functions are called. Now let us talk about this function call only. It will call 3 minus 1 2 and 3 minus 3 that is 0. This one is going to call 2 minus 1 that is 1 and 2 minus 3 that is minus 1. So here what will happen? It will call 1 minus 1 that is 0 and 1 minus 3 that is minus 2. Okay, so this is minus 2. Now just have a look. When this function starts, it will check if n is less than 1. Now this n is 0. 0 is actually less than 1. That means you will return. So this function will not do anything. It will return in first line only. So this function call has ended. Similarly, 2 is also less than minus 1. So it will also end. This one is also going to end. 0 is also less than 1. So it is also going to end. 1 is not less than 1. This will not end. So what will happen here? See. Already we have seen what happens if you call this function with one as parameter. So this entire thing can be copied as it is here. So it is 0 and minus 2. 0 and minus 2. And both of these functions, they will end immediately. Okay. Now let us see what is going to happen here. Here we are calling the function with 2 as parameter. That means this entire thing will be copied. See, whatever is happening here will happen here also. Because here also the parameter is 2 and the function is same. Here also parameter is 2 and the function is same. So copy 1, 2, 3, 4. Copy these four things as it is. So 1 minus 1, 1 and minus 1. This is going to end. Then 1 will call two functions 0 and minus 2. So it is 0 and minus 2. This will end, this will end. Okay. Now this is complete. Now we need to talk about this 3. Do the same thing. That means copy all the children of this node as it is there also. So let me just copy it. Like this. Now you can see these are all the function calls that are made and now you can just simply count them 
एंड गिव द आंसर सो इट इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव दैट मीन्स इन टोटल ट्वेंटी फाइव फंक्शन कॉल्स आर मेड आंसर इज ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू फाइंड द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस प्रोग्राम इफ यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी दैट पार्ट यू कैन स्किप इट बट आई रिकमेंड एट लीस्ट यू ट्राई इट योर सेल्फ और यू कैन वॉच द रेस्ट ऑफ द वीडियो फॉर नोइंग इट्स आउटपुट ओके या वन मोर थिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउटपुट ऑफ सच प्रोग्राम्स सिंपली इंक्लूड दिस प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस फंक्शन दिस वन फर्स्ट लाइन दैट इट एग्जीक्यूट इज दिस so 6 minus 1 5 is called and 6 minus 3 3 is called okay get function is called with parameter 3 then last statement is print n so what is it going to do it is going to print 6 okay here what will happen it is going to print 5 so i am just not writing p6 and p5 i will simply write the number okay because we want to save space so let me just complete it see this function call is for 3 so it will call two functions and then it will print 3 okay here one will be printed now see what will happen in this case in this case nothing will be printed for zero this function it will end on first line only so there is no chance that you reach on this print statement okay so where i wherever i have written these crosses that function will not print anything it will just end in first line only okay so this function will print 2 so i am writing 2 here then yeah we have completed the right side now let us come here this function will print 2 this will end this will end this will end this one will print 1 then let us just talk about this part it is going to print 4 this one is going to print 1 this one will end this one will end this one will end this is going to print 3 this one is going to print 2 this one is going to print 1 and this one this one this one they will end now let me just do one thing let me confirm if everything is okay i'll just resume the video then okay now entire tree is drawn there is no mistake in this tree now we just need to find the output of this program for finding output of a program just scan such a tree top down left to right so start from the root node that means start from here and keep on scanning it for print statements top down left to right see till now we haven't seen any print statement now this is the first print statement that means the first print statement that will be executed is this one okay so what will be printed it is going to print 1 i'm writing the output of program here that means first this function it will call this one then it will call this one then it will call this one then it will call this one so all of the activation records they are being pushed down to the stack then this function will be called then this one will be called and it will end then we will come back to this function only then this one will be called this function call will also end then this function will try to print something okay so first number that is printed is 1 after that see what is going to happen keep on scanning this top down and left to right now you have encountered one more print statement just print that so this number is 2 that means 2 will be printed okay after that keep on continuing the same process we have encountered one more print whatever i have written in red that is a print statement so 3 is going to be printed then you can see here we are going to encounter one more print that is 1 so 1 is printed okay so let me just 
complete it quickly. I am not going to draw this blue line now. So you can see its output will be 1, 2, 3, then it will be 1, 4, 1. 1, 4, 1. Then after that, we are going to have 2, 5, 1. Yeah, 2, 5, 1. Is it visible? Yeah, it is. So 2, 5, 1. After that, we have 2, 3, 6. 2, 3, 6. So this is the output. Yeah, one more point. This number 236, it is not present in new line. It will be present here only, but I have written this in new line because I'm not sure if that will be visible or not. So anyways, output is 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 6. So now for my satisfaction, I want to explain this function with the stack. Okay, so I'll just take some small value. Maybe we'll just explain it for okay so i'll show you what is happening in the stack if we call this function and pass to as parameter okay so now let us actually understand how these function calls are made that means now let us just solve this question with the help of example i'm not going to solve it for value 6 maybe we'll take value 2 because it will be easier okay anyways i don't have that much space and time to draw the stack for value 6 okay that is the output answer is 25 if you want to skip this part if you think you know these things you can simply skip it anyways suppose this is the stack inside the stack suppose this is activation record for main function and suppose in main function you have encountered a line which says get 2 so this function is called and the parameter that we are passing is 2 so activation record for get will be pushed because we have made a function call from this function and the parameter that is passed is 2. So this n gets a value 2. n is 2. Now first line is executed. Let us just label these lines. So this is line number i. This is line number j. This is line number k. Okay. And say this is line number z. Now line number i is executed for this function and you can see 2 is not less than 1 so you will not return. Next line says get n minus 1. So function is called n minus 1 means 2 minus 1 that is 1. So function get is called and 1 is passed as parameter. So in new function the parameter that we have passed is 1. So a new activation record for the new function n will have this value. Okay. Now when this function completely executes and when it returns, after returning back to this function, from where will you continue? Currently, you have made a function call due to which this activation stack has been, sorry, this activation record has been pushed onto the stack. When this ends, you will continue from the next line, that means line number k. So I'm writing this, okay? Now let us come to the new function. It will start its execution from line number one and this one has been paused. Okay. So this function is waiting for this one. Now start it from line number one. This condition is false so it will not return. It will also call a new function with one minus one that is zero as parameter. So push activation record for new function. In new function n will get a value one minus one that is zero. Okay. When this ends this one will also continue from line number k only like this. So now in this function begin from line number one. This condition will be checked which is true. Zero is actually less than one. Now because this condition is true, this function is going to return. This function is going to return means its activation record will be popped. Okay. And notice it is not going to print anything. It will return in first line only. So now first function call has returned. So we will come back to this function and we will resume from line number k. That means from here. So next function that is going to be called as get n minus 3. That means 1 minus 3. So the value that is passed is minus 2. Like this. Now you can see this value that sorry this value is less than 1. That means this function will also return when it executes the first line only or line number i. So this also returns 
and hence activation record will be popped from the stack. You will come back to this function only and from where will you continue? See right now we executed this one. You will continue from line number Z. Okay. So this is actually I need to write Z here. So we need to continue this one from line number Z. That means first time the print statement is executed. It says print n. So n is 1. What is printed? 1. Now you can see this function has ended. That means push the sorry pop the current activation record. This is popped. Now you will return back to this one. From where will you start? From line number A. That means from here. This is a function called get n minus 3. So get 2 minus 3. That means minus 1 is passed. So get function is called with a value minus 1. Like this. Okay. When this ends, you will come back here only. And from where will you continue? See. Currently you are on this line. When this function call ends, you will continue from line number Z. So I'm updating this to Z. Okay. Now this is a number that is less than 1. That means this function will return in first statement only. So this one returns without printing anything. Okay. And now you will return to this function call and you will continue from line number Z, which is this one. So print n that means 2 will be printed like this. So this is the output if you call this function get for a value 2. And you can see if you call this function for value 6 this is the output. And total number of function calls that will be made for value 6 are 25. We, are, we have already seen that tree. Okay. So actually this is what is happening inside the memory. But to analyze it quickly we use the tree method in exam i recommend you have to use the tree method only because that will give you answer in time okay